All right, in this video, as part of our unofficial guide to Wirecast online course, we are going to be going over the Wirecast interface. I'll be digging directly into it, but first let's just start with a high level PowerPoint presentation here the main toolbar. The main toolbar of Wirecast's application has a bunch of drop down menu items. Now, most of these items are not used for live production, but they're used for setting up your live production, which is why we'll go through all of them in this video. On the left-hand side in the current view, now there are multiple layouts for Wirecast, but this, this one here is a common one. We'll have a preview screen on the left and then the live broadcast output screen on the right. And that is just very common in uh, video production solutions. And that is how you know which one is your preview and which one is your output. Now in the middle below these two are your shot transitions. This is how you can transition from preview to output and build up and prepare for your next shot and then click the cut or transition button when you are ready. Now below here is going to be where all of your shots and layers are organized. And the very first little box here will be clearing the entire layer. And that's something a lot of people will do is clear all the layers and then start building again where you can build up all of these productions quickly and easily. Now the Wirecast shot manager opens up on the left hand side, right kind of on this side right over here when there are shots available to edit. And this shot manager is where you can name your shots and stay organized. You can rotate crop, color, adjust all of the settings of your shots in this area. So the shot manager allows you to choose the layers. You can actually layer shots together directly in the shot manager. You can edit the properties, the audio properties, the chroma key properties, the transition properties, and the source properties. So those are the two kind of big interface areas that I want you guys to be familiar with when you are you know, understanding the areas of Wirecast. Now, when you're just getting started, this layout button is kind of important because you are just getting started. You may need to choose the layout that you would like. So you can show just the live layout. I know a lot of people like that. You can show just live and preview. There are quite a few ways to show this. In fact, there's even a uh, little, uh, hotkeys to, to switch between those, those views really quickly and easily. And you can even kind of just show a small preview or a big preview. So if something has been changed around, you can go back out to layout, but it's, it's nice because it can be changed to fit your style of production, which is why I really like what Wirecast has done here. So your layout, check that out. And then in the very, um, right hand side, you will see the um, let me just move this over just a hair so we can see that you will see the um, audio bars and the audio bars are are twofold so you have the output audio okay and then you have your preview audio and generally the preview audio is not on because you can't listen to two at once and then you have the ability to mute the final mix completely with this little mute button over here. And maybe I'll zoom into this just a little bit to show it closer because it's pretty important. And then you have your headphone production as well. So your headphones, this controls whether you can hear the output through your computer headphones. Speakers, it does not affect what the, the viewers can hear. So maybe you don't want to monitor so this would, if you have this on, um, you know, everyone can hear what's coming out of this bar here, but if you have it, uh, off, it, it's totally muted. Now over here, this is your preview audio. So we'll look at audio in more detail in an upcoming video, but that just gives you an idea here. Now these little plus buttons that show up, these are the ones that allow you to add, you know, different video capture devices. So we could add a camera here. And there's a camera right there. We could also add some media. You can actually look at the stock um, files that, that come included. 
in. We can look for, you know, it just makes it so easy. It just downloads it right in to the production. So we'll look at that in a second when it's done downloading. So we looked at these really quickly. This is the, the headphones are super important. So you know what you're monitoring as a producer. You really should be wearing a, a pair of headphones when you're producing. Now the layering system in general will let you know which layer you are using at any given time. So if you cl clear the layer, the layer will be completely cleared in the preview area or um, you can keep adding them. And it, the bottom layer is always usually has the live camera and then the layers above will have the overlays. So we'll look at that in a moment um, as we are waiting for our Wirecast um, images to come in. The other thing uh, that we will do is I want to pull in, um, you know, let's, let's bring up Wirecast here so we can show this again. So let's go to uh, bring in two cameras. So this camera is all white. That must be zoomed into some, that white table there. Let's get rid of that one just because what you can do is just right click and delete something if you don't need it. Um, okay, so we've got two video files here, but what's happening? In the preview screen, there is just one because they're over over top of each other. So just do a really basic kind of picture in picture here. So there's our picture in picture. We've got both of these. If I hit the clear layer, it gets rid of that second picture. And then if I hit the go live with it, it is now what is being recorded and streamed. So if I move this over here, it will now move, but not until I do my transition. So that is really nice because it allows us, and that is the smooth ability. We could also just have it cut to the change. That is how the changes are being made in the output, which is what we are being recorded. So what is being recorded? So that's how the layering system works. Again, we're gonna look at that in a lot more detail in an upcoming video. Now the control bar has the stream, the record, and the ISO record area across the top. Now you can see this area, which is up here at the top, and it has it's grayed out right now because we're not streaming and we are not recording. Um, but if I hit the record button there, it will open up and say, hey, okay, where do you want to record? All right, well, let's record to disk. Let's record an MP4. And we'll, we're going to look at all this recording stuff later, but just for now, all right, now we are recording. Okay, now we'll stop recording. So that is how uh, you can kind of keep an eye on what's streaming, what's recording your ISO recordings, and those are really important parts of the interface. So with that, we've done a pretty good job of looking at the Wirecast interface. And uh, from there, we are going to start digging into some of the more details. So let me know what you think through the comment system. Don't forget to um, you know comment. If there's any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Let's move on to our next unofficial guide to Wirecast course video.